Halo Infinite is going to be sounding like no other Halo game we've ever had before. In this video, I'm going to detail the three brand new systems that are going to drastically change your gameplay experience while playing Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. In the recent Halo Infinite development update that came out at the end of March, we got some great information about how the game is going to sound. Because yes, graphics and visuals are super important. They place you in the world, but audio is what makes you feel like you're in the world. So we had a good chance to get some really great insight into what 343 is going to do for the audio side of Halo Infinite. In this video, we're going to be detailing three brand new systems that are coming in for Halo Infinite to make the audio just immerse you into the world of Zeta Halo. So if you guys like these news and information, kind of videos make sure you tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this you want to stay updated with everything going on with halo as we ramp up to the release of halo infinite make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so let's start off with the part that actually kind of sparked my interest the most here in this new format of how to place an audio within the game what 343 is traditionally done with audio placement is basically they've gone in manually and placed in all the different kind of audio bits where they need to be they're placing the audio procedurally which is really interesting stating here specifically one of the biggest challenges of this game has been creating a dynamic ambient soundscape across such an expansive environment in past Halo games, we've had to manually place every ambient sound in the entire game, including things like birds, wind, rivers, trees, rustling, etc. We knew that this approach would not be feasible for Infinite, so we partnered with the graphics team to utilize the technology they built for populating the environment with visual decorators like grass, bushes, and flowers. We used the system to procedurally place hundreds of thousands of audio emitters across the ring. So it does sound like the world itself is going to be so large that placing everything manually is just going to be way too tedious of a task, especially for how dynamic the gameplay is going to be for Zeta Halo. If you remember from the last development update that they mentioned that depending on what your loadout is, those are the kind of enemies that will spawn within the world. So if you're rolling with a tank, you'll come across more anti-tank stuff. Playing on foot, you'll come across more infantry. And they talked about this a little bit as well, saying factors feed into this system, combining gameplay states, time of day, location tracking, timers, and more, all working together to bring the environment to life. This just makes me wonder what exactly needs to be dynamic about these kind of situations. Cause, so it's not procedurally generated as a word you probably heard previously. They're not creating things. They're procedurally calling audio for these different types of environments. So what makes me wonder is why would this certain area be sounding different compared to say like in another gameplay state in that same area, why would that need to be procedurally called for different audio parts? How drastic is the weather going to be? Does the gameplay play a factor as well? Does the time of day really matter as well when it comes to the audio? Does grass crunch different at night on Zeta Halo? We don't know. That's actually my question I asked about the hashtag Ask343 asking, was the choice to procedurally place hundreds of thousands of audio emitters across the ring made because of the size of the world? Are there factors that would cause an area to sound different depending on the situation? If you guys want that question answered, check out the link in the description down below to my Twitter, give it a like, get some more people viewing on it. So then, before three, we guys see that people want this question answered. Again, it just kind of helps, but I'm also just very curious about the whole thing as well. And while you're there, make sure to give us a follow on Twitter. I always tweet out news as soon as I see it there. Actually, that's the quickest way to get news from me. Instead of me having to create a whole video, I can just tweet it out real quick so you guys can know exactly what's going on as soon as it happens. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what exactly is an audio emitter and stuff like that? Well, they actually did show this really cool image of just all the different audio emitters that were in just that one section of the gameplay demo that we had back in July of 2020. You can see why procedurally placing things might make a little bit more sense. So knowing that certain areas can be dynamically changed for depending on the state of the game makes me wonder why they made that choice rather than manually placing everything together and how could that affect your gameplay experience? Well, we'll find out. Another huge gameplay changing audio feature that's gonna be in Halo Infinite for the first time is a new threat detection system. What this essentially does is it prioritizes the audio sound of what's going to basically be shot at you at that moment. So say you have, you're in the middle of a gunfight, right? With a bunch of different explosions and gunshots going off and stuff like that. You need to know what's going to hit you 
primarily. So what this new system does is that it will make things that are being shot at you like plasma, rocket launchers, any kind of projectile, just literally anything will be louder within the mix of your audio. So it will help you prioritize things better because previously it was all audio was treated at an equal level of prioritization and just the further away it was, the fainter it was. So it was kind of like a mess of everything. It was kind of tough to pinpoint what was being shot at you. Joseph Staden actually talks about this saying, Infinite's new threat detection system, the system that now analyzes all active weapon sounds frame by frame and prioritizes them by threat order. This might sound like a small and subtle thing, but when you experience audio threat prioritization working in concert with all the other audio systems, it's incredible how this new feature enhances your situational awareness and invigorates your sandbox choices. How exactly this will play out and sound? Well, we won't really truly know until you have some headphones on and you get to experience it for yourself. I'm talking about putting some headphones on to experience the audio for yourself. A new system has also been added in for Halo Infinite and it's an acoustic simulation audio system that's in Halo Infinite. This essentially simulates the different environments you'll be in and how the audio interacts with that environment. Stated here saying, our acoustic system uses concepts like obstructions, occlusion, propagation, and reverberation to make sounds really feel like they're in that space. Whether in the next room over, behind a large boulder, or somewhere else altogether, this system uses a hybrid of voxelation with room and portal pathing to create a more immersive natural soundscape. So yeah, voxelation, that's certainly a word. But the, what does that do exactly? Well, they, 343 provided an image within the update showcasing this wire red mesh kind of thing. These are the different voxels that were within the world. So basically the game can recognize different kinds of surfaces and angles audio is being emitted so that their new acoustic simulation system can give you the proper audio so you can tell things are far away if they're through a wall, how large the room is, what kind of surfaces the audio is bouncing off of and things like that to really immerse you within the experience. Halo Infinite will be the first Halo to support the virtual surround sound technologies Dolby, Atoms, Windows, Sonic, and DPS Headphone X. These spatial audio technologies allow us to make sounds feel like they're playing from behind you or above you when you're only wearing stereo headphones. One thing, this really helps out on your cost on a gaming headset, so you don't have to invest in some crazy surround sound kind of headset that's gonna cost you possibly like 300 to 500 bucks. You can get a simple surround sound headset that'd probably cost you around maybe 100 bucks or something like that and you can get a truly great audio experience. 343 even provided a nice little diagram just showcasing what they mean by acoustic simulations. Essentially right here you can see in the bottom there's the listener, right? You have different kind of audio paths that are gonna hit you. So you hear the direct path, which is kind of like a muffled through the wall kind of sound, but then you'll also hear the audio coming through what would be like that door where the orange bar is right there. So you can hear kind of like but the ambient room sounds from the virtual source and also just from the source itself that's coming from that door. 343 even provided us a really good audio of what it sounds like to be within a Forerunner structure of Zeta Halo. Now I'm going to compare two different things here. The Zeta Halo audio that we have within the update and also what it sounds like to be on the map Epitaph from Halo 3 and you really get a sense of the depth and scope of what Infinite's audio sounds like compared to say like back in Halo 3. Obviously, there have been years of audio improvement since Halo 3's audio design, but still, you can kind of get a point where I'm talking about that. Halo Infinite's audio certainly sounded much more depth and dynamic and felt like I was there within the world. Or say for Epitaph, it felt kind of flat and didn't really feel like there was a lot of dimensions going on there. So that is why the audio for Halo Infinite looks to be very exciting. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo or miss any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. 
Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.